unfortunately we're, we're humans things get kind of blurry in that way you know um, but well any any religion has got its various components first of all every religion every major religion has a spectrum uh, of culture mm -hmm. spectrum of different countries um, then there is a political component uh, to every religion um, I wish it wasn't so we're just, but, we're just monkeys Yes, there's, but, there's politics there going is. on in the jungle right now. It's a, <laughs> it's a monkey. So I'm sorry. Okay, no. So, um, um, no, I, I just wanted to say yes. that that, uh, that there is no monolith. Um, and even, see, the basic fact is that God is both personal and God is also universal. So he's both personal and universal. Hmm. No two human beings can have an identical concept of God. It's an intimate relationship with him. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is our intimacy with God. On the other hand, I have to recognize that God is universal. So I'm not any more special to God than you are right. and vice versa. I think your key and, with that is the self, the self. It's between myself, Roman, and God and having that faith. And for people who may, may not have adopted a religion, uh, that faith can simply be in themselves that the voice in their head whoever we look to one of my coaches would always say in priorities uh, Roman it's faith first then family then business and academics and that's one right uh, more nice to business but he said in the, that faith could be in God or it can be in anyone in yourself but that is the only thing that comes before family and I think what do you think as humans as time progressed being where we're from in our environment we're kind of pointed to towards some type of sanctity, right? To, to, to look into, and depending on where you were, uh, that would end up being Islam or um, so, uh, so forth. Um, well, I mean, the, the, the truth is most of us have, our, have espoused our religion as part of the legacy we inherit. Um, there's a few of us who are on a quest and who actually land up, end up choosing a religion. Uh, so, so we should also be conscious. Or even changing a religion, right? Changing, yes. Cho yes, choosing, choosing and changing, yes. Um, if, if there's anything that, you know, anybody coming out there Saturday, you could watch our, our last talk to know. I think it's so wonderful that we did this uh, and we're transparent uh, about it. Um, for those of you who don't know, and we don't have to, you know, get into too much history, but the divide in, in 19, uh, the 40s, 47. 47, the partition, uh, well, before that, uh, if we take push that aside for a second, just uh, t talk about you. Were you born and raised here? Where were you? No, no, I was, your, I was born and raised in, in Pakistan. I'm a post-partition uh, Wow. What, what time? I was born in 1952, so five years after the partition. Okay. But, uh, um, I mean, I've read enough about it to know how eventful it was. Yes. How eventful, how traumatic it was. Yes. Um, but Jeez. yes, coming once we come to the U.S., we, we realize the commonality of our culture in terms of what we eat, in terms of how we dress in terms of how we treat our elders, in terms of how we treat our family, and so on. Um, yeah, that's very cool. So. Uh,